In this quick tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a bleed knot, not a blood knot, a bleed knot, something like this that can go around a keychain or around some other objects that you may have. Uh, recently, I was asked what kind of knot that was, and I figured I'd do it one up and actually show you what kind of knot this is. So, this is a bleed knot. A lot of times it's used for saddle work. Um, I've used it on a couple of my bags before, and just gonna do a quick how to to show you how to do it. One of the first things you have to do is pick which leather you want to use. I'm gonna use an oil tan side. I have two different sizes and I'm gonna actually use the thicker one because I'm gonna put it up onto this little key hook carabiner thingy. Uh, tell me the correct name of this down in the descriptions below. But this is actually gonna fit a little bit better there. So that's why I'm gonna use this one here and uh, we're gonna get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the leather and we will give a little bit of a of an angle cut at the bottom. Really doesn't have to be anything special, but it does have to be a little bit more than that. So let's throw a ruler on that just so I can do things correctly. Uh, I chose about a 10 inch piece. Um, I've already done this before, so I wanted to see what um, how it'll look. So. I need to cut it the same way. Let's cut it this way here. And we can fix these cuts when we're done too, so that's not gonna be a big deal. We're gonna run the leather through the carabiner. Um, if we wanted to do a flesh out, we can do it this way. I actually don't want to. I wanna do it uh, where we're gonna put it through uh, and have the leather stick out a little bit. Um, I chose up a little bit of a rough piece of leather. It's not gonna make that much of a difference. Um, and one inch may actually be a little bit too big for this, but we will we'll figure this out real fast like and see. So hopefully it won't. So I've got it about middle. I like to give them a little bit of a taper here, as you can see. So what I am gonna do is um, we'll pull out the knife and we will cut a line right down the middle here I think we're going to do and, and, I'll, and I'll verify in a minute but we're going to do about half the about the same distance as the entire piece so about a one inch piece so fat fingered fat fingered lost my cut in there that's right it'll come back so that's about the size and that's my first piece we're just going to shove it right down like that you can see I got it right up to the edge there and now I'm doing a little twist hopefully I stayed in the camera view little twist like that so there's that first piece it is a little bit thick uh, and I may just swap it over and show you a small piece instead but we'll see we'll, we'll, we'll go with this and then we'll decide I'm gonna flip it up and I'm gonna do another cut right here about the same distance as the width so that's about a fat finger there and we're gonna put that right through that's two this is the time you want to make sure that it it's rolling correctly the way you want it and that's two so we're gonna do uh, two more see how this looks pull this up and I'm gonna cut another one inch or so spot there and I may have chose a pretty good thickness that I didn't need to do so We'll see. We'll see how this finishes off. It may be too thick.
but you can see how that's looking. I'll do one more because I want to leave the flesh side in. I thought it'd be easier to show you on a bigger piece and I was wrong. I'm gonna go a little bit longer with that one. So you can see. So, you can see that's how to do it. Uh, I'm actually going to say that I don't like the way that looks. I know the bottom is going to look real funky too. Um, I knew that the way I was feeling the way it was falling and stuff. Uh, I'm sure somebody will like that, so I'll leave that. But, we're going to do another one with this leather and maybe we'll just put it on a, a keychain uh, so this one was about three quarter inch thick let's see yeah this was three quarter inch this is half inch so you can see the difference that one lays a little bit tight this one lays a little bit a little bit softer and this one will wind up looking like like that so let me grab a pen, I mean uh, a key ring, I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. I did grab a key, key ring. So let's throw the uh, these guys over in the corner and we'll show you how to do it with a, with a half inch piece, which will make it a little bit easier to use. Um, same thing, find your middle or find wherever you wanna do it. We're gonna flip up this first piece and this is where we're just gonna do about a half inch hole I should cut with my left hand. Um, we'll do about a half inch hole right here. And we will try to poke it through that hole. I'm gonna go a little bit longer. I don't do many of these um, how-to videos. So if you guys are watching, I think this may be one of my first ones that I'm doing. Tell me how I'm doing, if I'm doing okay, and don't tear me up too bad. I do know I need to stay inside the camera view more. All right, here's the first one it's in. Now, if you notice, my ends are not that well angled, so I'm going to do that with both of them while we sit. All right, so there's the first one. We're gonna tip it up and we're gonna add another, another slit right here, about the size of it. Pull it through. Again, this is called the bleed knot. Uh, some people will call it a blood knot, but the actual name is a bleed knot. Sorry, came out of camera view again. So there's two. You can see that looks a lot better than this one already. I thought that would look good, but. So three quarter, I think, would be the thickest that I'd, I'd go with this. And what I wouldn't go much more than a five, six ounce leather either, but that's just me. I'll do one more. 
trying to figure out a way to get my finger so you guys can see I'm just cutting a hole Boop. and there's a lot more videos out there if you guys are looking um, and you want some more information on it then you know that's that's great so there that's the easiest way to do a a bleed knot and if you want to put it on top of something uh, this one I think is about a 3 8 inch size yep mmm yeah just shy of 3 8 inch so that one's 3 8 inch that's a half inch that's a 3 quarter inch and that's a one inch all the same style this is all a Kodiak side from Tandy Leather um, so there it is all right guys and that is the quick um, down and dirty on how to make a bleed knot um, the first one I made you can see here is a one inch size it's a little bit big um, I'm not gonna recommend doing them at one inch uh, it does look kind of cool on the back uh, maybe I could figure out a way to do that with I don't know if, if I kept doing it it'll definitely give it a cool little look and I don't know where I'd add that maybe to a bag or something um, but I'll keep it. it. It's kind of growing on me. Um, so we'll leave it for now. Uh, but that is the big one. Uh, this is the half inch one. And you can tell this one's a whole lot better here. Um, just a good size for it. And um, you can cut this to whatever length you feel like. I've always done four. Uh, I think it looks good with four. You could do more. You can make a whole, um, probably make a whole leash for it or or. Do whatever you want with it. Um, tell me in the comments what you're doing with, with a bleed knot and, and how you're going to use it. Um, you can put them on little objects, put them on the back of a knife, something like that. So this one's about 3 8 inch. I didn't want it to be too thick for this guy. Uh, so, and, and having it as tight as I could, and I started it, I believe I started it on the side, um, and making it as tight as I could so that way it'll hold up and stay up there or it'll be, I don't know, maybe it's kind of like if I do a couple of them, maybe it'll be like his hair or something. Um, but I'd probably make it even smaller if I was going to do more of them. But three quarter inch is a pretty good size. As you can see, three quarter inch and half inch are really good size. They are, uh, this is a Kodiak side from Tandy Leather and um, all, of, all of these pieces are um, uh, really a nice oil tan side that I that I get from Tandy. So uh, if you guys have any more questions, go ahead and put them down below in uh, the comments. Let me know if you like this video and let me know what else you want to see me do on these videos. So I do have some time to do some videos and my goal is to get more of these videos out. So let me know what you think and we'll go from there. Till next time, keep turning.